Hi, Gareth here, and we're on the uh, beautiful Sapphire Princess today, and you can see it up there behind me, and we're going to just take a tour of this ship. Um, I'm in the piazza right now on Plaza Deck 5, looks like that, but first we're going to take a little trip down to Deck 4. Join me if you will. So we're down on Gala Deck 4, and through this door is a crew area. You might have heard this called the M1. We won't go in there. We are here to see the medical center. And it's right around the corner. Now you could take an elevator down. Not these, these are crew elevators. Or You can take the regular elevators down. See that? More crew area. This is the medical center. And it's got hours. And an emergency call 911. So, that's as much as we're probably going to see on Gala Deck 4. You will note, though, they store these here. They also store them on deck four forward. Let's go back to five. So we're back on five. That's the piazza in there. This is the uh, big white grand piano they play. We're in the elevator lobby. We're gonna go through. On the Sapphire Princess, we're on Plaza Deck Five, there are five main dining rooms. The Savoy is one of them. Four of them are the same size and shape. The decor is different. So, look around. On the other side of that wall is another dining room, the opposite of this, and decorated differently. This is the only one with a seahorse. You can make reservations in any one you want on the app. We're gonna walk around here. This used to be called something different. There's bathrooms there. This is Good Spirits at Sea. It's fairly recent. This used to be Bar Piazza. This is the International Cafe where you can get your specialty coffee and different kinds of food. The food is all free, mostly all free, and they will give it to you. International Cafe. This is the art gallery. So we're heading forward now on deck five. And I don't know if you like art galleries. That's kind of a weird thing right there, right? See? Um, I just want to show you that when you get pretty far, there are passenger cabins down here, you know, next to the art gallery. Let's go back out to the piazza. So we're back out to the piazza. There's the International Cafe. There's the marble stairways leading up. This is Alfredo's Pizzeria. And they make pretty good pizza. Um, here's a menu. You could look it up online though. But this is Alfredo's Pizzeria. It's free. It's included. And this is the Vines Bar. Some people call it the Vines Wine Bar. And they actually have a menu. I'm not sure why, but... And it's a pretty small one. I've seen it being, you know, all of Alfredo's in this for Vines on ships. But that's the Vines Bar. Another set of bathrooms over here. This is Vivaldi. It's down on deck five. And it has this guy and her. Oh. And so it's decorated like this. So half of it faces outside. The other half has a mirror with little glass dividers every so often. And 
that's about it for deck five. So this is the midship stairs and I'm going to go up them. So we're now on Fiesta Deck 6. That's starboard, that's port. Starboard means right, port means left. Um, two more dining rooms are up here. The Pacific Moon. And they got the doors closed, but the lights are on at least. Still playing music. There's the windows to the ocean because we're on the port side. And there's the mirrors. And there's another dining room on the other side of that. I don't know if you've noticed these curves, but they're the same on all the, in all the restaurants. Let's go forward. So Pacific Moon dining room in there, another bathroom. This is one of the shops of Princess. This is Essence. So you can guess they sell perfume. So makeup, oh my God, you smell that? And perfume. This will sell makeup. There's one of the marble stairs leading up. And there's the piazza down below. As we head forward on the port side, you have the Grand Casino. And it's big, but it's empty, if you know what I mean. I mean, there could be other tables or machines all across here. And on most of the other ships, they are. Uh, their slot machines are a little old, maybe. I mean, it's been a long time since I saw a Monty Python machine. Uh, they do have a couple of roulette wheels. They have a craps table down there. We'll see blackjack one of those Remember the game of chance not skill that brings us We're almost all the way forward on the ship and right over in this side Is shore excursions It's also the captain circle desk. So the captain circle guy sits right here Um, he has a drop box and then this is shore excursions uh, it's only 6 a.m. so these places are all closed so I'm going further forward now at this point the men's restroom is on this side and the women's is over there this is a ramp for getting up for getting out and that brings us to Churchill's lounge used to be called Churchill's Cigar Bar. They took the word cigar out of it. But it smells like cigars. And they keep it dim. They've got some TVs showing sports and a bar. But you could smoke cigarettes and whatever in here. Well, not marijuana, I don't think, but whatever, whatever. So we're going to go further forward, and this is the Princess Theater. And this theater is, access is kind of weird. It stares up. If we come in from seven, it stares down. So note that. And that's the Princess Theater, and it's a pretty nice big theater, good sight lines. On the Diamond Princess, the sister prince ship of the Sapphire Princess, there were chairs here. Those chairs. I think those chairs. We never sat in them. You see, you've got to go downstairs. But there is a door there, so if you're wheelchair bound, I, I don't know that there, you can get down here. You can get way up at the top. We're crossing from port to starboard, by the way. This is the stage curtain. A little dark in here, and they're playing some music. So I'm going to go back up these stairs. And later we'll come down there. Princess Theater. All right, before I let you go, of course, I have a lot of information for you. Tomorrow we are at sea. So please don't get off.
If you watch a lot of television, you've never seen me before. Um, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't know, I wasn't expecting laughs on any of these, so I'm just gonna fly through this speech. exiting the Princess Theater on the starboard side of the ship and heading back for the Grand Casino. So we're exiting the Princess Theater on deck six on the starboard side. Here's the ladies restroom. You should know this, built was, this ship was built in 2004 and carries 2,670 passengers at capacity. 
the captain's circle is behind us on the other side of the ship. But future cruise sails and library are here. And this is there's a future cruise person sits there, and another one in there. And this is the library. And they have a few books. I'm thinking most of the books are in passengers' ca cabins right now. <laughs> And they have this desk. Sometimes, Janet read that. Sometimes people are building puzzles on this desk right here. So, library, future cruise sales. So we're going to walk back through the Grand Casino. We're on the other side of the ship, heading aft now. And you know, some of the machines are, are newer. No, or a craps table here. No one of these quarter things. You know. Anyway. We're coming back into the piazza. And there's a couple of these kiosks where you, where you can get a printout of your account. Another shop of Princess. This is the guest services desk. And sweet and elite guests have their own line, but I don't know that they honor it. They have the sign, hi! Normally looks, and this is light. This is a light day. Easter and Passover sign-ups. Hmm. Anyway, she's very helpful. Guest services. So we're right here on the piazza on deck six, if you need guest services. This they call limelight. So in this shop, they sell purses, jewelry, and limelight. Clothing. Got some glasses there. Got some jewelry. Maybe not as high end as the other place. Scarves, little uh, glass things or crystal things. And of course, purses. Hello, how are you? I'm fabulous. <laughs> More of the same shop. Now we've rounded the piazza and we're on the starboard side and we're approaching Santa Fe dining room. But there's Santa Fe dining room. Now let me go in and get some care. So remember, through the mirrors is the other dining room, another dining room, and then windows. This is where club class dining takes place club class and club class has these gray tablecloths and gray napkins and they say CC on them. The rest of the restaurant has white tablecloths and white napkins. Hi and they have this guy. Now we're at the midship stairs and we're going to go from Fiesta Deck 6 up to Promenade Deck 7. Now on Promenade Deck 7 they have a lot of these signs. There's the piazza and the elevators. Notice that? Because people have trouble finding the International Dining Room. We walk back over to Port. This is the Explorer's Lounge. We're going to walk back around and see that again. But this is like the side entrance to it. I almost always use this entrance because I come from deck 14 down here. This is where you could get off the sh outside on the ship on the promenade, but they've got caution tape. They don't want you out there at night or something, but sometimes one door's closed and another one's open. So check them all. Facets, facets, which is mostly watches. Okay, you think diamonds? No watches. Hello. A lot of watches. Hi. Hello, how are you? Great. 
right here's the piazza and we're at the top of the piazza now there's a you know solid roof above this is Meridian Bay this is jewelry see that hello so Meridian Bay lots of jewelry they'll sell it to you then they'll sell it to you but well, wait will you no they'll sell it to you that's what I'm saying. Will you? Yeah. Okay. Jewelry. If I head forward, I'm going to find the wheelhouse bar. And we've been playing cruise lawn trivia in here. And this is one of the nicer lounges on board because it has a variety of chairs and couches and big ones and little ones and it's big and wide and open they do music in the evenings has a bar has these flowers boy I wish you could smell these these are real and they smell like Easter <laughs> which brings us to a door that's not blocked so we could go outside right here and go around the ship. We'll do that in a minute though. Women's look bathroom. See, it's on the other side on this deck. It's on the port side. Like I said, stairways leading in. However, if you go to right in the center of the elevators, there's a ramp. And you can ramp up and park here right but I don't know that you can get down anywhere but that's the Princess Theater from deck 7 and Cher sing it <laughs> that's the sound and light booth anyway see great sight lines great sight lines Came back out of the Princess Theater. We're crossing back in front of the elevators and stairs. That's the ramp. Coming over to starboard. There are these handy maps here and there. And another international dining room sign. And here it's closed. See? So why? So now we're heading aft, wheelhouse bar, additional seating for the wheelhouse bar, and another shop of Princess. This is Calypso Cove. This is where you can get clothes and, and the things you might have forgot. Well, way over there, razors and combs and... Hello. He works in here. So if you want some potato chips and don't feel like ordering them for free, you can come in here and buy them. This is what I meant about the stuff you forgot. Or on our one of our recent cruises, the airline lost your luggage. <laughs> and lots of souvenirs, lots of toys and stuffed animals, Stanley, hats. This is the store for that. Seasick pills, souvenirs. Calypso Cove. See? International dining room. And it's really not that hard to find, but this is Crooner's. Crooner's Bar. And there's the bar. And there's the table. And on some ships, this is at least twice as big, I think. And there's a piano. So the Crooner sits there and plays and sings. Croons. International dining room, international dining room, closed off. I gotta get out there though. So now we're in the Explorer's Bar area. And that's a stage with a curtain up there. We play a lot of trivia here. And they play the marriage game and the snow game and those things here. So we're gonna 
head on back Explorer's Lounge. There's these big signs. Remember these will not only slide up, but they'll slide forward and you could pick a day in the future and do the same thing. Although sometimes they're not accurate if you go too far ahead. Things change. Things change. This is oceanfront. Um, this is where you can get things for your device. We got AirTag dog collar holders from Amazon. Four of them for 10 bucks, so. But, by all means, go shopping. This is the Internet Cafe. Now, on the Diamond Princess, this is Kai Sushi. It's a restaurant. And I think they're turning this back into a restaurant because it's kind of a waste. Right? I mean, there's not even computers there. And it goes all the way around. It's a, it's a really nice restaurant that's not a restaurant. Right? Let's go out. Head further aft. Next to Kai Sushi is Sabatini's. And I'm not going to go too far in, but that's Sabatini's, Italian Trattoria. And I believe the cover charge in here is now $34. It used to be $25, but I think it's $34 now, each per person. This is the photo and video gallery, they call it. And in the afternoons, these panels would open and pictures would be on them. They don't print out a lot of pictures anymore. And this is outside. I just want you to see the sunrise out there. Can you see that? That's too burned out. Anyway, that brings us to the very back of the ship and Club Fusion. Now they got towels here because they're going to be doing Zumba later, I believe. <laughs> giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Here, give me a hand. Give me a hand. Give me a hand. Okay, wait. Right outside here is a smoking area. So this guy's out here to smoke. I assume. So Club Fusion is big and really underused in my opinion. There's only a couple things go on here during the day and only a few people. Uh, we do play uh, trivia here sometimes. I don't know why here. Oh, because the art people take over the Explorer's Lounge. That's why. But so I walked down on the dance floor and it's the biggest dance floor on the ship, I would say, by far. And there is this stairway here. And this stairway leads down to a bar called the Wakeview Bar. And normally there's a rope across there. I don't think they use this on the ship. They didn't on the Diamond Princess. But it's kind of a cool place, right? I mean, I don't know if they use it. I've never been in here when anyone else was here. And I've come down these stairs several times during this cruise, but always during the day. And it's called the Wake View because if you look carefully, you can see the wake. You can view the wake and sunrise. Anyway, Wakeview Bar. Maybe on your cruise they'll be using it. Maybe when there's more people on board. I told you the ship has a capacity of almost 2,700 and there's less than 1,800 passengers on this cruise. So, let's go forward. But Let's see. Okay, now we've just crossed over to the port side and we're heading forward again. Just want you to know that. And I can access this door, so I will. I came through that door. That's forward. This is aft. Let's walk around to the back of the ship here. 
it's uh, kind of warm and humid for 6.30 in the morning. Club Fusion inside there. So we're heading aft on Promenade Deck 7. On the Promenade, right? And we're going to have to come back in that door. So we're going to go forward a little bit later. But this is the very back of the ship. That's the sun rising. And it's probably really noisy here, you know, because of our wake. We're full speed ahead. Probably 20, 22 knots. Which is about 21 miles per hour. You see by the clock, it's 635 almost. A lot quieter on this side. We'll go forward a little bit and get back out there and make the front of the ship. These are the plaques the ship receives on its maiden port call to different ports. There's some wild ones here. They're, they're all the way down. But this, notice International Dining Room, International Dining Room, pointing down. So you have to walk aft on deck seven and then go down to deck six at the aft stairway elevators. And that brings you to the international dining room. And they have breakfast in here and lunch on sea days and dinner every night. And it's the least decorated, I would say. See that? But it goes way over there. And you can make reservations in here and all the others. While we've been on the ship, I've never had a problem getting into any dining room where I chose. It goes all the way back over on that side too. So we're on promenade deck seven. Port side, starboard side. <laughs> we're sort of in the middle. Um, I want to show you this. This is, well, Asian inspired. Let's go to the other side. So we're on promenade deck and there's these places which I've shown you all. And then there are staterooms, eight to 12 staterooms and the terrace pool. So we're gonna skip those decks and go up to 14. But first, let's go outside again. This time on the starboard side. So the back of the ship is around that bend and that's a smoking area. So we're gonna go forward here they have these teak deck chairs and later they'll put cushions on them. Uh, there's only a few on each side. Of course, there's the sunset under the lifeboats, which are also the water shuttles and tender boats, right? We walked all the way forward. It's kind of warm and humid this morning, so it's going to be a hot day. We're off the coast of Central America somewhere in the Pacific Ocean. We're heading to Port of Art, but not for two days, so this is a sea day. So keep that in mind, but also keep in mind that you have to walk up these stairs to walk all the way around the ship. And those stairs. Now inside here is the theater. I would venture to say these chairs are not normally here, but there's been a group of wildlife watchers setting up telescopes and cameras with big giant lenses out here. Like that. So, normally I would go to that spot exactly and say, So I came back 
inside on deck seven midship the piazza is that way this is the explorers lounge club fusion is way down at the end of the hall there um let me get back in the light so as i showed you there's not much else between here and deck 14. princess doesn't use the 13. uh daniel got me this shirt so let's go up to deck 14. there's a picture of the officers and oz the cruise director So on most of the passenger cabin decks, you have a laundromat. And some of them go all the way across and some of them only go halfway and there's another one on the other side. So you got your washing machines, your dryers. <clears throat> We're on it. <laughs> we see that too much. Uh, English, you put your uh, medallion up there and washing is three dollars drying is three dollars and the vending products fabric softener detergent dollar fifty they've given us detergent because the vending machine's broken i wonder if they do that in all the uh laundromats anyway you put that up there little tokens come out of here you drop them in the machine <laughs> open to open oh <laughs> <laughs> Always here to help. Oh yes. Sir. There's also two ironing boards oh. and two irons. They have timers. You got to turn the timer. Then they have water. So, I, no, irons and ironing boards are free. Apparently, detergent's free today. So, laundromat. So we came up the stairs to Lido Deck 14, and this ahead of us is Neptune's Reef and Pool. And there are people swimming already. Work crew up on deck 15. Towels. You should be careful because this is slippery here. It's, you know, they, they clean it with some cleaner that, <laughs> like oil or whatever. Anyway, got this uh, whale sculpture here. This is Prego Pizzeria. So there's Alfredo's down below. This is Prego, where you can get a slice, two slices, whatever. They have three different pizzas. One of them changes each day. This is the Mermaid's Tail Bar. And over here is what I'm going to call the Trident Grill. Hamburgers, hot dogs, pulled pork sandwich, chicken sandwich, Trident Grill. Hi. If you go forward here, you will be in cabins, automatic doors. You will be in cabins. See that? My cabin is right down there. So, we're gonna walk to the back of the ship now. Cause like I said, in the front, it's only cabins. And that's Neptune's Reef and Pool. And this is Swirls. This is where you get ice cream, hi. And fruit and those fancy desserts and the smoothies and everything. Soft serve ice cream is free, although their soft serve machine is broken and so they're scooping. And I gotta tell you, the vanilla ice cream, at least on this ship, tastes really weird. It's like it's a stick of butter or something. It's uh, not very delicious. So this is the Calypso Reef and Pool, and it has a retractable roof, which they have not retracted even once during this cruise. No matter how hot or cold it was, they've kept this pool covered. Up there, they call it the conservatory. Notice the chairs have pads. Well, these do too, because we're inside. So there's padded chair. In there is Horizon Court, the ship's buffet. Hello. This, of course, is the Calypso Bar with him and him. So, now the buffet, I've, of course, crossed over to port again. The buffet is in there and on that side. 
we're going to cross back over and go in on that side. So there's a hand washing station and there's usually a person here asking you to wash your hands, but this side is closed, that's why I went here, so we wouldn't have to deal with any people. <laughs> Coffee, tea, iced tea, orange juice. You see a lot of these signs though, but there are six or eight of these stations. There's another one at that end. There's another one on the other side. So six, three on this side, three on the other side. So this is very uncrowded for a buffet because the area is closed, but I can show you the food they have. So there's always fruit. Um, I can show you some of the food they have. Potatoes, sausage, salmon, more fruit. Hi. Bacon. Corned beef hash. They make a pretty good corned beef hash. Biscuits and gravy. Oatmeal. Chicken congee. More drinks. Milk. Cereal. There's some other things. We're walking aft on the starboard side. It's another one. It's got two of the signs. Two of the four are closed. At night, Hi. At night, this becomes the Sterling Steakhouse. The Sterling Steakhouse at night. So there's tablecloths and fancy waiters and waitresses. Maybe fancy glasses. Maybe fancy girls. So that you can see. Now we're going to walk back through the other side of the buffet. Hi. And they're always clean in here. Clean, clean, clean. But first, we're going to walk outside. So we're going to the very back on deck 14, right? So this is the Outrigger Bar. And this is the terrace pool, and this area is called the Horizon Terrace. Now, let me get all the way over in the corner here. So we are at the very back of the ship, right? See, there's the wake again. As I look across and look up, you'll notice that there are stairways and stairways and stairways and stairways and stairways all the way up. Of course inside somewhere there's an elevator that'll take you up at least most of the way. But there are a lot of stairways. Let's go down to this pool, the terrace pool. Got some life preservers here. Just want to show you what happens if you go to the pool. Now look, double loungers on each side. A little stairway so that's like your own private place there's two of them there's no pads on it yet today but if you go down here you're actually on deck 12 aloha deck and on aloha deck there are cabins Go to the other side. So we're heading forward again on deck 14. Hi. I just want to show you it's uh, 701. And the buffet is not that crowded yet. But there are people there, there's people getting food. So rather than go forward here, we're going to go up. We're going to turn around and go back and go up. We're back out on the Horizon Terrace. And we're going to go up. So we're on deck 14, going to deck 15. Now on the Diamond Princess, you wouldn't be able to do what I just did. More of these. This is the Izumi 
Japanese bath on the Diamond Princess. This is a kid's play area on this ship. And uh, you can't get up here. This is part of the bath. So it's a pool. And it's... Uh, it's not hot, but it's not cold. So, anyway, let's go up a little further. So this is officially Sun Deck 15. And, and it is bigger that way, but from here, there's like no way forward, right? Without going up or down. So now, we're on Sports Deck 16. Still in the back of the ship, hot tubs on each side. Really no sports here other than shuffleboard. This bar is drinking a sport. And shuffleboard. I think they have, yeah, giant chess pieces and another stairway up. This area is called the Oasis. Sports Deck 16 aft, and that's the Oasis bar. And I have a feeling they don't open that. But let's go up even further. If you want a good look at the aft end, oh, there's the chessboard of the ship. Come up here. Now inside there is Skywalker's Lounge. And there's actually a door leading in on each side. I'm going to open it. We're going to come back to this from the front. Watch your step. This is Skywalker's Lounge. So as I leave Skywalker's, notice the escalator is stopped again. Elevators, our bathrooms are right here. Elevators are around the bend. Stairs are here though. Whoops, and I always use the stairs. Hi. So, we're back down to the escalator up Sports Deck 16. We've already. So, <coughs> sometimes these are closed. We're going to go all the way up. There's Skywalkers. There's the terrace pool. Well, that's the Izumi pool. I don't know what they call it here. Terrace pool down there. Like I said, there are a lot of staircases. And when you get to the top of them, you find this area. Now we're probably up on deck 18. And so all the sports have to share this area. And from here, you can get a good look out, other than that's all glassed in. But you really can't go anywhere. There's no lounge chairs up here. You can see the ship's jet engines. Honestly, I don't know what the purpose of those is. And deck 15 is called the Sun Deck. By the way, it's March 31st, 2023 elevator lobby and the kids areas so you've got the lodge here ages 8 to 12 we have the tree house here ages 3 to 7 camp discovery no window I hear there's only six kids on board the beach house, that's for your teenagers, 13 to 17, and it's just a door. So since we're on Sun Deck 15, if we go down one more floor, we're on Lido Deck 14 and the buffet, right? We're right in the middle of the buffet. So we're going to instead go outside here on the port side. They have lounge chairs out here but I think they don't really use them. I mean, the ship's not that crowded, and I guess they figure people aren't gonna come up here. Although, like I said, it's only 7.15, so maybe they're gonna get going. 
We got the Sapphire Princess covered with netting. And the jet engines up there. So we're headed forward on the port side. Sun deck 15. When we were down on 14, and we went through the cupboard, I said the upper area was the conservatory, and this is it. So let's Doors are not easy to open. Mm, foosball table. I think there's ping pong somewhere. Looks like they have a little bar set up. A little bar down there. Of course, we've been through all this before. Let's go back outside. We're approaching the Neptune Reef Pool outside pool. And now you see the chairs all set up. And the hot tubs. Not a lot of people though. And the stairway. Let's go up. And this is uh, Princess Green's, you know, golf. And if I didn't know better, I'd say there's only four or five holes there without any pins in them. A pair of shoes. <laughs> um, I have to say I don't see, oh there's clubs, there's balls. A couple more holes too. So you can come up here and putt around all day. Or you can hide back here. Do not climb. So officially, we're on Sports Deck 16, and this is the lawn port, but it doesn't attach to any other part of 16. That's why it has its own stairway. Let's go back down. So as we walk forward, this is the Trade Winds Bar. Neptune's Reef and Pool is right there. Trade Winds Bar. You can go up there. We'll do that in a minute. First. This is the smoking area. So, port side, deck 15. We went all the way forward on deck 15. That's the bridge where they steer the ship from. Hi. And this, which is sometimes not open, and I have to credit the Sapphire Princess because it's almost always open on this ship. This is the bridge deck. And it's almost always open. On other ships, it's almost never open. So, we're on top of the bridge right now. Some of the crew, maybe all of the crew, refer to this as Monkey Island. Can you guess why? isn't black, black at all, that's the black box for the ship. It's across over here. But, you know, when you're in a fjord or visiting a glacier or something, this is really crowded, but it's a really good place to get a good look. You can pretty much all the way around, even into the sun. Let's go out. Also the forward elevators and stairs. Hi. So here it is. Hi. Hello. Howdy. Hello. <laughs> so there's the Lotus Spa and this is like the beauty salon. And a lot of these people spoke to us yesterday, gave a presentation. Hi. And this is the Lotus Pool out here. And it's adults only. Bush! Ha! What an idiot. And you don't have to pay.
pay to use this pool. A lot of people think you do. It doesn't get very much use. It's got these fancy lounges. But this is the Lotus Pool, adults only, and it's free. Okay, it's free. Let's go a little further into the spa. This is where I wait for Janet every morning. <laughs> Her routine takes longer than mine. And this is the fitness center, the gym. And they've got free weights, and they've got machines, and they have bicycles. I'm just gonna run through here because I don't want to bother any of these people. And it's got an extra room, and that's got more treadmills and a place to sit around. And he's actually doing a class in here. So there it is, the fitness center. You have to walk through the spa to get to it. Fitness center back there, Lotus Pool, adults only. The spa goes around the pool on both sides. Bathrooms, there's treatment rooms, what we call them. Over here, there's a little uh, living room, waiting room, whatever. It's got tea at least. Oh, and somebody coming out of a room. So, Lotus Spa. Let's head out of here. Lotus Pool. Adults only. They use Elemis products. So we're on Sun Deck 15, forward. The spa is all that area up there. But this is also, see that leads into the spa? This is where the Platinum Studio is, if you're interested. It's up these stairs. By the way, that's the smoking area right out there. And this, where I'm at, smells like cigarettes. Smells like smoke. Some of it's cigar. Platinum Studio by Joe Craig. Could also get out up here. You know, back out onto the decks. And it's just a door. Probably locked. So there's the Platinum Studio. I'm going to go out this door. And they set up all these chairs every morning and I don't think they get used very much and they put them all away every night only to set them up again the next day and we have come to the sanctuary the sanctuary and that's the Lotus Pool adults only and in the sanctuary you get these fancy fancy loungers with thick thick cushions you could be in the shade if you want. Notice it's covered, although it's not waterproof. Those are open slots, right? So if it rains, they're getting wet. Maybe you can do it in the corner. There's a double lounger. There's another double lounger. There's chairs if you like that. There's treatment rooms, right? From the spa, you can get treated up here, I guess. The only drawback to this place is it costs to get in. They even have clamshells without the top shell. Um, it's $20 for half a day and $40 for all day. So this is the sanctuary and it costs to go here. It didn't cost me because I just walked in. And it does have that bell. made of metal but it's not a regular bell. See? We're back approximately midship. That's Neptune's Reef and Pool and Movies Under the Stars. Uh, that's deck 15, deck 14. I'm on deck 16. Right? And there's stairways leading up here. And this is the last thing we're going to do, is go up this stairway. And you'll notice they have lounge chairs they could set up here, but I don't think they've used it on our cruise. And then another stairway, which is really only half a deck, 
So 17 and a half maybe. And if you want to get a good look at everything, you know, 360 degree view, this might be your place. Lotus Pool, that's all Soli, Neptune's Reef. Anyway, I love the Sapphire Princess, I'm going to be honest with you. It's got an international cafe and Alfredo's, they're not very big, but they're there. Uh, it's got a lot of uh, other nooks and crannies. Uh, got a good gym, um, good food, good service. Got the uh, whoop, five main dining rooms to choose from. I haven't had trouble, we haven't had trouble getting a reservation in any of them. Or even walking up to them without a reservation and just saying, want to eat here. Now, I'm sure other people have experienced difficulty. But not us. So, great crew, great ship, little old, some of the things are broken, they, some of the things leak. You know, when it rained on us, they, uh, they were buckets in certain places, but, you know, it's like an old house, right? Uh, so, from the beautiful Sapphire Princess, I'm Gareth, and I will see you in the next port. Port Monkeys out. Bye. In case I didn't say it before, Daniel bought me this shirt. Bye.
keep on talking without, of course, introducing um, uh, our, our friend Bruno on the side. Bruno is here. We rehearsed this. We rehearsed this five hours today. Oh. Oh, there you go. That's beautiful for Bruno. <laughs> You have one job. You have one job. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now we are going to introduce the gentleman who is in charge of it all. The man who is in charge of every single crew member's safety and well-being, including yours as well. This man has brought us safely from Buenos Aires in Argentina up to this point in time. So I'm gonna ask you to go crazy, go wild, and give a thunderous round of applause for the master of the Sapphire Princess, Captain Paolo Romero. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Thank you, first of all, to all of you for coming out tonight. Now, if you were wondering why I am a lucky person, that's the answer here. <laughs> this is the best part of this vessel this, what I call the ship's company, and they make it happen every single time. I'll take the credit, but they do the job. Tonight I can even come with the wrong uniform like I'm doing now, you see. I'm the only one dressed like this because I did a mistake checking the what I should have put it on, but everybody told me, Captain, you look great anyway. <laughs> so uh, this is the best part, well, one of the good parts of being captain but they are also uh, the reverse side of the coin. But this is one of the first time, not the first, but the few times, having uh, passenger guests for a long period on board, we want to do a special farewell, and not only from us. We thought about it, and Miguel and all the others, they thought, no, we're gonna bring everyone we can on the front. There are people here, first time, in this position, they've never been exposed to public. So, thank you for coming out tonight to put it up. And most of all, I think the what everybody appreciates is the way they are very humble, but very much on the spot. They do the job. They, they do the job every single day and uh, over and over again. And so this is what we need, really. A very, I would say, perfect fu functioning machine, which is Sapphire Princess. So thank you, have a great evening. You still have a day tomorrow. And last but not least, I forgot to introduce another big component of this, which is all of you, all the guests on board. As I said in the beginning, we need happy people and you are very much. So thank you very much to put it up with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now get your phones out because something beautiful is about to happen. We're going to go with the crew members and say hi to every single side of the vessel. So bring your phones out. We're going to start. Crew members, say hi to that side over there. Come on, everybody. Go to that side. Give the music, DJ.